This is Alternative Political Analysis and this video will be on Donald Trump's inauguration and I will talk about the themes of Donald Trump's inauguration speech. The first one that leapt out at me was rebuilding America and this is very much necessary as the United States currently has grade D infrastructure. Donald Trump said he wants to confront hardship and the hardships of the working class of America need to be confronted. Trump emphasized the importance of a peaceful power transfer. Well, it has been relatively peaceful, but we'll get to that later on. And he emphasized the importance of decentralization and devolving power. Now, that sounds like an emphasis on the recognition of states' rights and respecting local democracy. We will wait and see if this is the action that the president takes. And he emphasized sharing and redistributing wealth, which seems like a strange point for a billionaire to make. But again, actions speak louder than words, and we will have to wait and see if the actions match the words. And he talked um, about a government of the people and by the people. Now, this is an explicit and direct reference to the United States Constitution and we the people. That is enshrined into a document and Trump stated his aims to alleviate poverty and improve education. Again, we'll have to wait and see if um, actions can match rhetoric, but um, there, are, there are those, including myself, who are sceptical of Betsy DeVos and if she is able to improve public schooling. However, given that she has openly and overtly advocated and promoted um, redistributing funds from public schooling to charter schools, so we will have to wait and see but the signs are not good. And Trump says the carnage stops right here and stops right now. However, as with the peaceful power transfer, um, other actions belie this statement. And he emphasized that he is against subsidi subsidizing um, NATO militaries. He is for protecting borders, so that is a signal, a de declaration of intent to fortify the southern border. And he talked about America first, and this seemed to be a declaration of intent. Um, towards realist pragmatism in relation to foreign policy and it is certainly better than men not Israel first or Saudi Arabia first so if he keeps that promise that will be a marked improvement he, he's emphasized buying American produce and hiring American workers. Given that the Trump Organization has outsourced its own labor, um, we, we have to be skeptical, but we have to wait and see if actions match the positive rhetoric. Moving on. There 
there was a repudiation of the neocons, which again is another positive. And again, we'll, we will have to see if actions match the rhetoric, but if it does, this will be a very significant improvement. As Trump said, the US will not impose its way of life on others. And if he keeps that promise, he will be one of the better pr recent presidents. And there was the expected condemnation of Wahhabi terror in the inauguration speech. Again, if the actions match the tough rhetoric, it will be a marked improvement. And he said he wanted to reinforce old alliances, and that seemed to be code for, I want to strengthen the relationship between America and Britain, and to make new allies, and I think that is a reference to Russia and other actors who are taking on Wahhabi militant terrorists. Again, we will have to see, wait and see um, what actions he takes and whether it matches the rhetoric or not. And he emphasized that America is a Christian nation, which is not surprising given his Presbyterian family background. And he stated America for all of Americans and he said black, brown or white we all bleed, bleed the same red blood of patriots and that is the strong sense of civic nationalism which not only is a theme of his Republican Party but it was a theme of his campaign and it seems as if it's going to be a theme of his presidency and this is one of the many reasons that he is strongly supported in America and I would say his ideology conservative and the strong civic nationalism was also an appeal to the alternative right which supported Trump and this brings us on to the next subject which was the violent protests which accompanied the inauguration there were at least 400 violent protesters 90 violent protesters were arrested and the police used tear gas which is chemical weapons and pepper spray as well as stun grenades or what are known as flash grenades and the violent protesters on the other hand smashed building windows including that of Bank of America and Starbucks it's just a pity it took Trump's inauguration for them to do it but better late than never and they smashed cars as I said and basically um, rioted in defiance of Trump's inauguration and it should be stated for the sake of fairness, accuracy and objectivity that there were also protests which were peaceful and being held simultaneously 